In this video, I am going to provide you with a few examples on how you can form a two step, two angled steps going into a building, a playhouse, anything, maybe even a deck that you will be building out of concrete. Now, I'm not going to go over all of the forming methods. I'm not going to show you all the stakes, all the nailing, or how to finish the concrete because I have other videos on that. So let's go ahead and get started with the forms. Not too difficult. You're going to start with a square box. And in our example, the inside of the box measures 38 inches across, 38 inches this way. And the angled form board here will meet on the inside at the inside corner at both ends. And of course, this is very important when you're figuring this out. So we're going to zoom in here inside corner of the lower box and then the inside here. Now I would like to point out that you can also add a mitered corner at both of the ends if you want to. And uh, again, you're going to be pouring the concrete on the inside, so this might not be that big of a deal. And this will be a 45 degree angle if you have a square box on the inside. The lower box is square on the inside. And both of the widths in both directions will be the same. So same measurement from here to here. And then once you have everything firmly secured with stakes to the ground and everything is level, then go ahead and fill the forms up with concrete. So here we have the upper box and the lower box. And in this example, we have removed the upper box and now we will remove the lower box or form set. Now I also need to point out that if you do use this method here, that you could end up with a larger gap than you want to at the end here. And in order to solve that problem, all you need to do is remove the form boards and replace them with a couple of small pieces of thin and materials that are anywhere between an eighth of an inch or a quarter of an inch thick. So all we did was move the stairway over. So we're still working with our square on the bottom. The bottom is going to be a 38 inch square. Both of these sides are still going to be the same length, except for the fact that we're going to remove the other forms and replace them with the smaller ones here. And in this example, we are going to use four eighth of an inch wide pieces of hardboard. And we will be installing some type of lubricant on this side and on the other side of each one of these boards except for the last one. In the last one we can install oil, vegetable oil, grease, whatever you want on this side. Just don't install it on the other side. We don't want to have any residue on the siding or stucco. And another thing I need to point out is that you might need to shape the stake like we've done here or even the form board so that you can firmly attach it to the forms but not the building. So not too difficult. We're going to have a half inch gap when we are done and I would strongly suggest staggering your board something like this so you can get a hold of them because you're going to need to pull the ones out in the center first in order to have enough room to pull the other two out. So not too difficult. Once you know how it's done, right? Taking all the forms out here, now it's time to remove these boards. And to remove them, you're just simply going to pull them out this way. And if you have enough lubricant on them, you shouldn't have a problem. You're gonna pull one of them out and then that's going to loosen it up to where the next ones are going to come out a little easier. And again, I would suggest pulling the ones out in the middle and then pulling the ones out on either side. And if everything works out, you should end up with something about a half of an inch. And keep in mind that this gap right here will need to be cleaned regularly. Otherwise, it's going to fill up with debris and then the debris is going to get wet and then that wet debris is going to start to rot out all of your wood framing and siding, anything that it can possibly get to to damage it. Even if it's made out of metal, it's going to start corroding. And with that information, you might even want to make the gap a little wider, maybe three quarters of an inch or an inch. And for those of you who are not familiar, concrete will absorb moisture out of the ground and allow it to transfer into anything it touches. 
So if we have a gap here, it's not going to ruin the siding. Next up, let's go ahead and point out another problem you could have, and that would be with your local building and safety department or building codes that might require a six inch minimum length at the edges here. And I do have more information about that at our website in the building codes area. And if you do need to build it that way, then let's go ahead and take a look at how we can form everything up. And this really won't be that difficult. We're going to start with the same boards to provide us with our gap and then come out six inches or whatever the minimum distance is for your building codes. And in order to do that, all we need to do is add six inches to these boards here and to these boards here and basically build it the same way. We're still going to meet in the corner here and form everything up relatively the same way. And keep in mind that most building codes don't have anything to do with the outside corners. That can also be dangerous if you are hopping around from this side up to here or up to here. So in our example here, this is going to be 38 inches wide. This is going to be 38 inches wide. And then we're going to come out six inches and then six inches this way. So again, this board right here will be six inches longer than the ones in the previous examples and you'll be forming up the inside corner a little different here also. And as always, keep in mind that you do not need to follow this. If you come up with something on your own that's going to work better, use it. And if you have any questions at all about something that you saw here that doesn't make sense, feel free to leave your questions in the comment area, and I will answer them as soon as possible. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed watching the video or learned something from it.